Hello, this is Bakhtar Mahmood and you're watching The Now. Ambassador Yusuf El Tobe, the special envoy of OIC on Jammu and Kashmir, along with the OIC's Assistant Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Ambassador Tariq Bakit, and other senior officials concluded their six days, that is 7 to 12 November visit to Pakistan. During his stay in Pakistan, Al Dobe held talks with the Prime Minister Imran Khan, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi, and Foreign Secretary Suhail Mahmood apart from holding meetings with political leaderships of Kashmir as well as the leaders of all parties Hudiyat conference. The delegation also met the president of Azad Jammu and Kashmir. The delegation visited the Chirikot sector of LOC where it was briefed by the Pakistani military operations on the area's latest security situation. There they also interacted with the victims of India's unprovoked ceasefire violations. His discussions with Pakistani leadership encompassed the peace and security, human rights, human humanitarian and legal aspects of the grave situation in the Indian illegal occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Mandate of this visit was to represent a report for the upcoming conference of foreign ministers in March 2022. He showed his support for Kashmiri struggle for self-determination. He also reaffirmed OIC support and expressed complete solidarity with the Kashmiri people. He expressed hope that foreign ministers meeting would lead to fruitful results. OIC is the largest forum after United Nations, when it agrees with Pakistan's narrative, it adds up to the UNHRC reports on Kashmir issue, which had led to the rejection of Indian narrative of blaming Pakistan for unrest in Kashmir. Rejection of the idea that freedom movement and illegal Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir is linked to terrorism and acknowledgement by the rest of the world that India is no longer a secular is a big conversion and OIC needs to build on this. And why term OIC delegation's visit to Pakistan and Azad Jammu and Kashmir very fruitful.